Originally, it was longer presentation. So, after Ayatollah's giving a general notion of Imama, I think one major of such a concept of Imam is his Isma. Uh, loosely translated in, in English, infallibility. But to me, Isma well, does not fully represent infallibility. Well, let's just, for the sake of translation, say infallibility and keep Isma. Or for the speaking English people, uh, the notion of infallibility, infallibility may carry a bit of a major part of the Isma. Well, in Christian world, because they are familiar with the notion of infallibility, infallibility of church, sometimes they might be confused. The notion of Isma is much more than what in church known as an infallibility and it's purely theological, it has mystical, it has legal, it has ethical aspect to it also. So Isma, we want to do a bit of conceptual, conceptual analysis. What is the essence of Isma, various notion of Isma, and then Isma in Quran, I leave it because it takes much more time and controversial, so one part of my presentation I'll leave it. And then Isma in theological tradition. Let's start with the conceptual analysis of Isma. What is the essence of Isma according to Shia theology? I'm quoting two major Shia theologians, and this is the mainstream, if not most majority, or even if not consensual, uh, essence of Isma. The essence of Isma is Lot. And again, Lot used translated the grace, which it has some misleading elements, but grace is the closest. Western term to Esma, grace of God to their person. Well, Lot, we give it Lot. This is by uh, Sheikh Al Mufid, the highest theologian in Shia thought. Lot fun yafalahullah al mukallaf. So Esma is a Lot, it's a grace. God does it to the person. Mukallaf, keep the word mukallaf is a key term. Mukallaf is mukallaf. So we are talking about free will, ability to commit sin, but he's not committing. Ability not to obey, but still he's obeying. So he's mukallaf. Because of this notion of mukallaf, we believe that Rasulullah was mukallaf, Imam is mukallaf. So they are not like robot or they are not like an angel. The angels were not mukallafin because they do not have free will. The messenger of God and the Imams are mukallafun. So they have they have the ability to obey and they obey. But there is a lot of God to that particular mukallaf behave that lot is as such. The ma'asiyah is impossible or it prevents the ma'asiyah by him. That lot comes and prevents him from the ma'asiyah. That's the important thing. They are able. Imam and prophets are able to do mercy, but they don't do. They are able to tag the ta'ah and still they do the ta'ah. That was why Shaykh al Mufid, and again, this Kitab Hali Ash, this is the first theological book studied in Shia seminary. Elementary, uh, that, that's elementary book, but it's one of the most profound, translated in English too as well by late Yahya. Corbin, Yahya Cooper, huh? Was that in Cooper, I guess? Yeah. Al Ismatul Lutfun bil Mukallaf, again. Al Ismatul Lutfun bil Mukallaf. The Hayd Layakun, Layakun Lahud. This is wrong wrong typing, I did it very quick. Layakun Lahud, Da'in. He does not have any da', any motivation. Isma is a lot to transmit the person. In a such a position, he does not have motivation. He is not motivated, not doing the ta'ah. Okay, I have a wrong uh, typing here. Uh, so this is the 
for you because you did the photo. This is not your lahu. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Lahu. Sorry. Okay. This is the very essence of Esma. Lot coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the person, keeping, keeping him obedient. Obedient in Tarkul Ma'asiyah, obedient in, uh, let me say, Ta'ah. Uh, now let's move to the second phase of conceptual analysis. What is this Esma now? What is the implication of this Esma? I've given you two authentic, uh, let me say, concept of Esma, and they I have given you my own understanding of Esma from the Rabaya, from the Muhammad Ali alayhi salam, which is quite different than this two. Well, I'm not the authority in theologian, just the bottom is with the last one, I'll keep it with it. Yes. At the last one, it's more. The big one is not the first one. This is by Alama Majlisi in Baharul Almod, volume 11. Alama Majlisi has summarized Shia position from the beginning up to the Safari period. He has summarized the position. That is why I have taken Allah Majlisi. Allah Majlisi, he so said, when we say Imam and Imams are Masumun, uh, one part, Mariyata of Ibab al Abad, again, on the typing. So many <laughs> typings here. Mariyata of Ibab al Abad, one part, they are Masum. As in regard to their belief. So they do not have shirk, they do not believe in false belief. This is one aspect of Islam. Secondly, Mayata of Tabligh, they do not do wrong tabligh. Third, Mayata of Al Ahkam wal Fataya, the, the law aspect of Islam, they don't give wrong law, not neither perfect peace upon him nor Imams. They do not commit mistake in giving the law an account. And fourth, the I guess this is the controversial among the Shia Sunni, so even in regard to the Prophet, let alone the Imams, Fi Afalihim Basiratihim. They will not commit any mistake in their action, in their sira, in their akhlaq, in their manner, in their interaction with people, in their daily life. The fourth one is the let me say, I guess, the, the point of controversy in the God Rasulullah between Shia and Sunni. And of course, there is a very small Shia minority who believe both Imam and Rasulullah may commit minor errors. Sahm. They call it Sahm al Nabi. In that line, they are similar to the mainstream Ash'ari Ash in uh, Sunni world. In that line, that there is a possibility of Sahul Nabi, and by priority, there is a Sahul Imam. If Nabi is open to Sahul, Imam also is open. To. But first, first three Abayid, Tabliq, Ahkam, this is consensual among Muslims that Prophet is Masum in these three, and Imams by Shia are Masum. The, the, the fourth one, both within the Shia and Sunni world, is a bit open to controversy and variety of opinion, put it in that way. <coughs> then I move to one of the <coughs> contemporary theologians, now to you and one of the great Maharajah, this day, Sheikh Rutfullah Sahib. He's got a Risala Khan for Isma. I'm quoting from his book, Risala Khan for Isma. Ma huwa al-Isma al-Nabi يجب أن يكون النبي والإمام متصفين به. العصمة عن الكفر. This number one. العصمة عن الكفر والكذب في التبليغ والرسالة والإخبار عن أحكام الله والمعارف الدينية. بعد النبوة. العصمة عن الكفر بمطلق الكذب بعد النبوة مع قبلها This is again controversy among In particular these views are among the أشائرة So قبلها Some of them say not necessary 
بعد النبوة must be معصوم. So some believe بعد النبوة some say no. قبل هذا الجيل. This is the issue of the prophet we are talking. And imams. Imams. يعني قبل النبوة يكون معصوما وبعد النبوة بعد عند النبوة وبعد النبوة معصوما ولازم أن يكون معصوما من ابتداء ولادته يعني قبل النبوة. هذا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. والإمام أيضا. بس قبل الإمام هو بعد الإمام. يا نعم نعم. لأن يقول بعدهم ما قلنا بالنسبة إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم بعينه جانب بالنسبة إلى الإمام عليه السلام في اعتبار الشيوع. أوكي. That is true. العسم على المعاصي وكل ما ينفر عنه كل ما ينفر عنه. Some people don't like it. It's not nice. What is disliked by people? يعني إيمان سلطان is not مكروه. إيمان سلطان is not مكروه. You know bad manner, which is not مكروه. You know laughing loudly. I don't know if it's مكروه by all, by some it's مكروه. But by is it كل ما ينفر عن في الكوميونيتي في الرجال. ما شاء الله. Yes, yes. بعد النبوة وقبلهم قال حتى قبل النبوة. العزم عن المعاصي وكل ما ينفر عنه وعن ترك الاولى. يعني اب تو ذا نبوة فروم هيز ولاده اب تو ذا نبوة. يو سوري يو انديستاند ناو ذير از ان ايشيو ذات وين وي سي نبي از معصوم دو وي مين معصوم من حيث النبوة فروم ذا تايم هي بيكومز النبي؟ لا لا هو ابراهيم از نوت نبوة نبوة ابراهيم از امام. سو سو وات هي سيز از ويريفر ذا وورد نبوة از You can replace that word with imama when it comes to the imama. But the discussion is on isma from the uh, from the aspect of the prophet, but the same uh, the discussion imam. applies to the imam. Yeah. Yeah. Seems, I think seems, more seems. than that, uh, I read, if you allow me, I read that uh, the uh, imam. Just, uh, from, uh, just, uh, just uh, one finish. question on the prophet. How does he finish? Yeah, yeah. If you don't understand, just for the clarification, this is all right. Only clarification. For the Imam, is since his birth up to the time of Imam, some said, for the Shia, there is not such a thing. By the way, as he asked, what what about Imam? What about the Prophet? Because Sunni do not believe in Ismail Imam Shia. Anyway, this is the controversy in Sunni world. Does it mean Prophet must be Mazum? From the birth up to the time of prophethood, <coughs> or just from the prophethood onward. Some, we have some Muqtazari say, I've seen some Ashari say, that before is not important. From the prophethood, he is ma'zum, no shirk, no tablet, no wrong tablet, no wrong yakam, up to the end. Anyway, number, number five, they added Tarkul Ula too. Not only Kullama Yun Faru'an, Rather, Talkul Ula too, meaning something was good to be done. Talkul Ula. 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 Talkul Ula too, yes. بعد النبوة أو قبل النبوة. And the most comprehensive one, which they majority believe in regards to Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah, and the Imam, 12 Imam, is this number 6. And Safi and most majority of Shia theologians, Believe in regard to Rasulullah and regard to Imam, and the Isma al Ma'asi, wa kulla ma yun faru'an, wa an tabki al awla, ba'da al nubuwa, wa qabla al nubuwa. From the birth, they were ma'asum of ma'asi, they were ma'asum of kul. Okay. Isma al anbiya al jami' al ma'asi, wa amma yun faru'an, wa anhu qabla al nubuwa, wa ba'dha, wa an al khata'i, wa al sahwi, wa al ishtibari, fi kul ma yarja ila al tabki. وعسمة نبينا محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم والأئمة المعصومين عليهم على التحية والسلام عن جميع ذلك وترك الأولى وعن الخبأ والسماء والسهم في جميع الأمور. This is the Shia belief in regard to Rasulullah and the Imam. Majority, as I said, majority of Shia belief because this sahab, this sahab is a point of Controversy within the Shia. Shia. That, and within the Sunni is clear. More than they believe than, than more than Sahu as well. Well, with regard to Shia Sahu and Nabi, there is an early theologian who believed in possibility of Sahu. In fact, they believe denial of 
possibility of Sahabun Nabi takes you to the Gulum. The minimum that takes you to the Gulum, to the Gulum, if you deny the possibility of Sahabun Nabi or Sahabun Imam by Parib. But what is my understanding? Though Sheikh Ali insisted to give my own understanding of Isma, my own understanding of Isma and Imam Ali's understanding of Isma. According to this very authentic hadith, it is a long hadith. At the end of the hadith, what does it mean They are masoom means they do not order people to commit wrong. That's the minimum thing you say? This is Imam Ali's definition of masoom according to me, and this hadith is very authentic hadith. Imam Ali's definition. إنما أمر بطاعة الأمر لأن بطاعة أول الأمر لأنهم معصومون مطهرون. And the next sentence is to explain what does it mean. لا يأمرون بمعصيته. They do not order معصية الله سبحانه وتعالى. And in fact, when you go to the rational argument by Shia theologians, now I move in the next slide to the national to the rational argument. You see, that's the point. You want to feel security when they give you aqam, they give you aqaid. La ya'amununa li ma'asiyat illa. Okay, shall I move? I finish with conceptual. Now, theological argument for the isma of imam. This is based on Hilli and Tusi, Kashful Murat Fisha, and Tajrid al-Atabar. The book is Tajrid al-Atabar. Tajrid al-Atabar is the most important theological work in Islam, not in Shia. No other book in Islam theology has more than these comments by Sunni and Shia. The writer is Shia, but it has tens of Sunni comments on it. Some of them available in this library. Tens of Shia comments on it. So even uh, big Sunni uh, theologians, they have taken Tajrid al Ittabad as a major theological work, and they gave their disagreement to Susi. The best the best commentary on that book is by Allah Mahalli, his student, Kashful Murad. Mahalli's work is purely Shia work. But uh, as I have now in my room some other Sunni works, and you see their disagreement here, but I'm taking the two C's reasoning from Isma. He offered five reasons. Five reasons that Imam, this is an Imam, five reasons that, that Shia Imam must be Masoom. أن الإمام لو لم يكن معصوم لازم التسلسل. He is not معصوم. Then I have to check it with someone else. To whom I check it. And go go and ultimately he is taking the ultimate reference as a ultimate reference as a person. There must be an ultimate reference on the time to check it out with him. And he believes that Imam is ultimate. Whoever is the ultimate reference of check and balance is معصوم anyway. Wait wait. Can you just explain what is the meaning of the Sotsud and why this leads to the Sotsud? Because in just ABC fashion. So, uh, if anybody wants to knock that argument, then they can knock it. Uh, sure, you want me to explain the Sotsud? Please. Ali Reza, please. No, no, just explain this in this context. Has the well, why, 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 why is it the link here? Why is the Sotsud or what is the Sotsud? Which one? If we think Imam Hassan is not Masoom. Then, then what? Then what's the problem there? But the problem is I have to check out his opinion with another person who I believe is more reliable. So what you're saying here is that when you say that there is a person, we need to be totally confident that their opinions are accurate. Accurate. And the only On the earth, reason, not in another And the only reason they can be accurate is if that person is masoom. I'm masoom. So now you put Mr. X who's giving you opinion, mm. you can't trust their opinion. Yes, you can't trust their opinions because they are not masu. They are not masu. So you will have to go to somebody else. Yes, and then if they are not masu, then to somebody else, and to somebody else, and to somebody else. Yes? Yeah. So it, vigorous see, chain, this, and right? It's a vigorous chain. Delicious. Uh, no, it, it, it's an infinite continuity. Infinite continuity. Yeah, but what I'm saying here is that that's the argument that the person yeah. who's giving the view has to be masu because. Has to be the ultimate authority on the earth, put it in that way. Mm -hmm. that, Stopping the tasalsul by having the ultimate authority in the earth. That he is the final, you don't need to go further. He is, as Ayatollah said, the God's representative Khalifa on the earth. 
when he says something as God saying something, as it because he is the perfect man, he is a sovereign common. Otherwise, if you don't have it, always you want to check it, but I'm not sure. He said it, but I'm not sure. It could, it could be wrong. How can I be sure? Let's find someone who is more knowledgeable. Next one. Still, I'm not sure. Unless he's my son, you say, okay, I'm sure he's the ultimate. No, I, I think we have to explain the basis. The Shia basis means that we cannot follow the Sharia unless we are absolutely sure. Mm. Yes, no, and then we are on, on the back of that, this argument comes. Yes. Mm. Yeah? So the absolute surety can only come from the Prophet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because he is half of the Shah, if he is not Masum, how 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 you can make sure that he is half of the Shah? He might be a half of the Shah according to his understanding, which might be wrong. Or he might if he is not Masum, he might be half of the Shah according to his wish. So he, he like this part of the Shah he keep it. We don't know. You have to make sure that he is perfect half of the shah. If he is not mazum, you can make sure that he is half of the shah. Uh, this is his argument, but I have all my arguments against it. By the way, this is, I'm, I'm representing faithfully Tusi and Hengi's argument. So and what he's saying is that majority of the scholars would argue on the basis of his mm-hmm. conclusions of Sheikh Tusi. Yeah. But he is being true to the tradition of presenting. Yeah. What is his full name? Sheikh Tusi? Full name. Nasiruddin Tusi. And that's the book in there. And you can yeah, yeah. Nasiruddin. No, 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 no. And so he said, I'm not going to be able to see. And so he said, I'm not going to be able to see. And so he said, I'm not going to be able to see. Yeah, yeah, that's the argument the other way around. It comes. Yeah. If you can do a car of the Imam, you don't do a Taba of Imam. You have to do a Taba of Imam. This is counter, this is counter effect. Because he's making a mistake and you want to do a car, then you are you not you need someone to follow. You don't need someone to check it out with your own. You need someone to say, I don't need to check him out. Oh, this is like a solo law. It's, I'm following him blindly according to uh, the Shia understanding of Imam. So if he is not Masum, you can do object to him in certain cases. So this is again theological. Too many typing mistakes. It is clear. الخامس لو وقع منه المعصية لازم يكون أقل درجة من العوام. This is also he would worse than عوام because you are talking about person with such a high, such a high standing that he is committing massive is is worse than the عوام. And how you can have someone who is worse than the عوام as an imam in there? He must be immune from committing mass. As you see, some of this argument like number one, number two. Is in the level of tablir. Number three and the last one in the le- level of sin. He's, he does not commit sin. First one, he does not convey wrong message. That finished. Finished. This is the. What are to nafil kudra? That was our concentrating on that. Uh, he's got a big section here. If he's matsum, does it contradict his free will? Is he obla- is he forced majbur to be ma'sum? Therefore, what's the benefit of it? What's the credit of such a person? They know not enough of course that despite his ability, still he is ma'sum. Sorry, I've got more time. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you.